this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Whoa, what's happening? I hit run already. Okay. Twin spirals. These spirals turn and change size in opposite ways. Oh yeah, that's shrinking. Yikes, that's attacking. Run the code to see what it what is making the spiral shrink, grow, and turn. Okay. Add code so that the spiral switch what they are doing when the mouse is pressed down. All right. Let's see why the spirals are doing this. So here's the draw function. It runs 30 times a second. And so 30 times a second, what am I doing? Well, I have this sprite named spot. I have this variable spiral that is set the animation to that lollipop. Spiral 2 is this lollipop. Yep, lollipop, lollipop. Got it. And what are we doing? Well, we're taking the spiral scale. Keep in mind with scale, a scale equal to 1 is 100% its normal size. A scale equal to 0 0.5 is 50% the normal size. Scale equal to 3 is 300% the normal size. So spiral.scale is equal to whatever this is the counter pattern, whatever the spiral's old scale was, divided by 1.01. Okay, so just divided by a little bit. Okay, right? we're shrinking the... Uh, this spiral a little bit. It would be we're we're dividing it by 101 of its normal value, so just a teeny bit, and then we're rotating it three. Now this guy we're not shrinking, we're multiplying by 101 percent. So its original value by 101, we're multiplying, and then we're rotating it by negative three. And if you want to track any of these, how fast they're going to be moving, we could always go down here. And do I want spiral dot scale, for instance. Okay. All right, and let's hit run. So notice it's just shrinking a teeny bit each time, but it goes 30 times a second. So it seems to be fast. Now it loops around. And again, this is equal to, so spiral dot rotation, we're telling the computer this counter pattern is now equal to whatever spiral dot rotation used to be equal to. Well, for first starting, it used to be equal to zero. Zero plus three is three. And its rotation value is now three. We draw this right, rotated three. We run back around. Spiral dot rotation is now equal to whatever it used to be equal to. We just said it would be equal to three. So three plus three now is six. Its new value is six. We move it six, so on and so forth. We're doing that with these as well. We're dividing it by 0 0.1.0 or multiplying 1.0. And that's what's changing it. So what it's asking us to do if the mouse is down, Add code so that spiral switch what they're doing when the mouse is pressed. All right, here's what I'm going to do. First off, they're going to switch when the mouse is pressed. So I know I'm going to need an if and an else because if the mouse is down, we need them to switch. Otherwise, so at all other times, we need them doing, well, this. Let me drag this in. I'm going to actually do Command C, Control C to copy. If you're on a Mac, it's Command C. And I'm going to click up here somewhere. Ah. There we are. And now I'm going to do command control V or command V to paste all this. Ah, I didn't get them all. There we go. Because now I just want to flip them, right? They're going to go the opposite way. So how can I make them go the opposite way? I'm going to flip their signs. And I need a condition here. So what was the condition? They said if mouse down. Not went down, went down would only be the split second that you press a mouse, and then that would be false. So let's talk ifs. If is true or false. So if mouse went left button went down, or if mouse button down. So if the button is down, what happens? This stuff happens. And again, we flip them. So if I press the mouse on the screen, the scale is increasing for the spiral, right? As opposed to if I do not press the mouse button, this happens, the scale would be decreasing. So for an if else, only one chunk can happen. Either the if code, this stuff, and this part of the mouth is true. If this is true, we're asking the computer question, hey, computer, is the mouse's left button down? If that's true, the computer says yes. We go, okay, we dip in and we run these four lines. We then skip the rest of this. The else doesn't run because this was true, All right? Now let's say it's false. I'm not holding down the mouse button. So if mouse down, computer, is the left button down? False, not true. If this is false, we then do otherwise. We then go, oh, okay, we skip this code here and we do otherwise. We do the else. Okay, so this is false. Well, otherwise, at all other times, we must run this stuff. Always, 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 either this chunk of code has to run or this chunk, never both. So at all times, they'll be going this direction 
But if I'm holding this down and this is true, they go that direction and they skip this. Let's see. Oh no, it's going to rah, rah, attack. Ooh. Oh, this is getting fun. Now I'm holding the mouse button. Go, 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 go. Ready, ready, ready. Rah, <laughs> Onward.